Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's go Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reacting to um, Ami Didat Highlight 01 Issues About Quran. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The question was, do Muslims also have different versions of the Quran? We have no different versions. We have, we have different translations. What is the difference between a version and a translation? I tell you. See, translation, you have a choice of words. Like the the verse I quoted you from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 18, verse 9, where it says, I have lost none. That's one, one translation. Another one says, not one or none, choice of words. Not a single one. These are what is called choice in, in translating words. It's not version. But the version is, as the brother was trying to explain, he said that the verse on the Trinity is an interpolation. He said that. Interpolation means something that has been pushed into it which is not supposed to be there. And in the Bible he presented to me, that verse is a part of the text. In other words, now that's a version. You open another book, the Roman Catholic version of the Bible, which is the RSV version, Roman Catholic, they threw it out as a fabrication, that verse. It's a different version. This RSV is a different version. You remember the verse I quoted you? Jesus telling Paul, why kickest thyself against the pricks? That verse, that filthy, dirty verse is now thrown out of this as an interpolation, as a fabrication as an adulteration so it's a different version now you know what's a version you see the version now that one this one has it this one is thrown out version this one here has 66 books inside this one here has got 73 books inside it's a different version i hope you understand now it's my simple english so we have no different versions of the Quran. The Arabic Quran universally is the same. No difference between one part of the world and another. In translations, we have Pekhtal, Muhammad Ali, Yusuf Ali, Daryabadi, Asad. You can have a hundred of them. There are different translations, but they are not different versions. Only choice of words in which they differ. Now, he lied. In the previous meeting, he said, and I quoted, if you remember, while I was quoting, I said, you quoted, this is what you said, he says, Let me challenge you, 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible. He says, let me challenge you, me or the audience, or all, let me challenge you, 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful Arabic is from the Bible. You remember that? And he said, he said he can show it to you now. I said, no, have your patience. He had 75 minutes. He didn't show one example. One example. 75% of this book is copied in that and he could not show as one example you see you you know what is to copy what is to crib what is to plagiarize stealing somebody else's literature look the christians and the jews have been at it they have been at it they have written books yeah judaism in the quran by abraham catch few hundred pages then the sources of Islam, the sources of the Quran by Reverend Saint Claire Tinsdale. 
books, books. They have written more than 60,000 books against Islam from 1800 to 1950. More than 60,000 books they have been written so far. See, they behave like innocent little children, little babes, like cherubims, but not cherubims. They have written more than 60,000. Among them, here, Judaism in the Quran. Here, the sources of Islam, sources of the Quran. Reverend Saint Claire Tinsdale. Reverend and Saint, he wrote the book. And he is giving verses, verses, verses. That one they are giving verses, verses, verses. But this was originally written in Farsi, Persian, in the Persian language. So, Reverend Sir William Moyer, he translates this into English. And he writes a preface. He writes a preface to his translation. And he says, it is strange, it is strange, it's odd, it's unusual, it's extraordinary. He says, it is strange that though the Jewish and Christian scriptures are spoken of throughout the Quran with the utmost devotion. The Quran speaks about the Jewish and Christian scriptures, the Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, with utmost devotion. Only one passage, only one passage is quoted from them. That's all, only one. Though the Quran is speaking about it, 75% is copied. Says Dr. Shirosh, 73 quarter is copied from the Bible. Yet this great man, Sir William Moore, a scholar, he says only one passage is quoted from them. Namely, and he quotes. Namely, and he quotes. The meek shall inherit the earth. One quotation. Now, look for it. There isn't such a verse in the Quran. The nearest is, وَلَكَدْ سَرَّفْنَا وَلَكَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الذَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِسُهَا يِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ So that we had given to Dawood in the Zabur this message that to my righteous servant, my righteous servants will inherit the earth. That is what the Quran says. But this quotation, the meek shall inherit the earth, you find that in Matthew chapter 5 verse 5, where Jesus says, the meek shall inherit the earth. Now you see that in the Bible that our doctor has given me, there are cross references and it tells you that this quotation is from Psalms chapter 37 verse 11. That quotation is from Psalms. Jesus says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. But when you look for it, you find it in Psalms chapter 37, verse 11. Word for word. But Jesus didn't give the credit to David. He said, Look, I got this from the Psalms. Muhammad is made to say that this is written, he's actually quoting, this is written, he's giving due credit in the Sabur. It is there, and you find that this is what the Quran says. Jesus Christ is actually plagiarizing. If he didn't mention it, if he didn't give credit, he is plagiarizing. He is stealing from somebody else's writing, not Muhammad. So, still, still, you see, look, what is to copy? What is to crib? You must show to us, I have the Arabic Bible here, in case he hasn't got it, and got the Arabic Quran here. What he must show here, that in the Arabic Bible, Jesus says, I am the father of one. It's a look in the Quran, Muhammad says, I am the father of one. In the Bible, Jesus says, that he that has seen me has seen the father. And you see, Muhammad also says, for example, that he that has seen me has seen the father. This is what is called copy. This is what is called cribbing. This is what is called plagiarism. So far, in the 75 long minutes, unbearably long minutes, he has not yet given us a single <laughs> phrase or word passage that Muhammad is copied from his 75% in the Bible. The Arabic Bible is here, sir, make it easy for you, and the Arabic Quran is also here, make it easy for you. Thank you, Mr. Dida. I'll jump on the first two um points spoken about uh, 
version and translation of course are two different things i think many of us have to catch up with the history of how the quran came to be one instead of the different versions that may have existed then and also accept that they're actually just using one book and not many others um i have no idea if any other copies of the previous qurans exist like that may be different from the one that's been used but as far as i'm concerned the last time i reacted something it was saying everything else was bent and they just stuck to one came up with one and that's what they use and then when it comes to the quran being 75 percent of similar to the bible i don't think there's anything wrong with that that just makes you that just shows that there are more similarities than there are difference between christianity and islam and people should embrace embrace that you know there's nothing to shy away from when it comes to that there's nothing to be angry about when it comes to that there's just more similarities is what people need to accept let me know what you guys actually think if there's anything i need to react to let me know down below make sure to give this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video